do, does Leonardo get any uh, money from our tech, uh, from the subscription to? Yeah. Supposed mm -hmm. to. We're supposed to. I mean, technically, <laughs> we're not going to see any money for years. <laughs> so I'll be honest That's with you. That's the MIT publishing model. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. So my, my question is, why give content when you're not going to get any monetary benefits out of it? Then don't do it. OK. Um, so uh, we're basically. You know, for for a lot of a lot of people who want to be part of this collection of art, science, and technology content, from you know that's through MIT Press, that's curated, uh, and we'll be bringing in a lot of more archived um, areas as well. Some open access and some some by the library subscription model. Uh, this the the way if you want to do this, the way to do this is um, basically through these, and I will talk about the permissions. Yeah. Um, to the to um, MIT Press. I think his question is more like, what is Leonardo getting out of it? Not yeah. he himself getting something out of it. He wants to know what Leonardo is getting out of it. What's well, this is doing? this is a, a, a platform that's um, produced both by Leonardo and MIT Press. So when the, the idea of this is that when this does start getting up and moving, which this just has launched over this year, um, that we would see half of the proceeds, which would help sustain the organization. So right now, um, we, I don't, you know, if you if you're not familiar with Leonardo's model, is that we don't have any grant money. We have a small, tiny bit of donations, but almost all of our operating expenses, we have a tiny, tiny budget. It's based on um, um, mainly um, aggregator downloads and and views. So things from your library, from JSTOR, from Project Muse. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of subscriptions, but mainly from those two resources. And this would be another resource as an aggregator that could be um, sold to libraries around the world that would help sustain the organization and grow the organization. Yeah. Isn't the, yeah. um, don't, I was understanding that um, also the library subscriptions for the journal. As long as individual mm -hmm. IP is really protected for those who want it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the library. There's a small amount of libraries who subscribe to the journal, but it's mm -hmm. it, there. Are more and more libraries are subscribing to Muse or sure, JSTOR yeah, right. rather than subscribing to the journal. More people are doing stuff online, so our actual individual library subscriptions and individual subscriptions are going down, but the actual downloads from all those other aggregators are going up. Mm -hmm. So people are not viewing content by subscription. By subscription, they're viewing it by aggregators, whether that be in a library, whether that be in a news feed or something else. But that's basically where this is the future of publishing is going. Like there's going to be hardly anything that's going to be in print anymore down the road. Okay. Yeah. It also, like, can I say something? It also, I think, like, connects uh, virtual communities with uh, local communities. So most of the times, because of the laser talks, they happen like locally. Yeah. I think it helps like to expand and also to communicate what is happening in every laser totally. context worldwide. Yeah, yeah. No, there's an absolute purpose to it. I think mm -hmm. we just need to work out the copyright bugs. Yeah. 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 Is it okay, Danielle? Like, for example, from UC Data's uh, standpoint, if we just have like you in contact with the copyright officer, intellectual property person, department, is that okay? In terms of what? In terms of getting uh, this worked out for, in order, you know, for our lasers to be archived on our time yeah. I think it's more I MIT. I think it's more of an MIT issue. Like, like it's not. Um, let, let me talk to. Sure, that's like, fine. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, it seems like it's beyond the scope of things that I would know. You know, so okay. yeah. the people who know what they're doing together is much more effective than. Need to try to figure that out. would help some to know at least on the UC side since we have so many in UC. Yeah. It would be good to have on uh, to understand what the UC rules are because I feel like UC is really complicated. Yes. <laughs> like it's like way more complicated than I ever imagined. But you know, yeah. It's a giant bureaucracy. I think What's let's that? let's move on. Okay. This, uh, All right. Okay. Anyways, so that's our tech yeah. and um, if you already have a subscription, let me know. I'll give you guys a free you know, free one and um, for yourselves, but not for your university. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just have to emphasize that because I will get in a lot of trouble, but, um, but that's yeah. how, how it is.